Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So how do our genes affect the way in which we age? And what effect do our genes have, that's the genes given to us by our biological parents, actually have on our lifespan and indeed our health span? And can our lifestyle, where we live, what we eat, how we exercise, have any great effect on our genetic predisposition? A new study out of the University of California has shed some light onto these two key questions. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study out of the University of California has actually got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by Robert Sanders of the University of California, Berkeley, which was published in the journal Nature Communications and covers a study looking into gene expression and how it changes as we age and how it may be that the environment has a greater effect on how we age especially with regard to some of the diseases of aging. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. There has been of late much speculation and indeed research about how our genetics affect the way we age. But now a University of California Berkeley study shows that the individual differences in our DNA matter less and less as we get older and become more prone to the diseases of aging such as diabetes and indeed cancer. In a study of the relative effects of genetics, aging and the environment on how some 20,000 human genes are expressed, the researchers found that aging and the environment are far more important than genetic variation in affecting the expression profiles of many of our genes as we get older. The level at which genes are expressed, that is ratcheted up or down in activity, determines everything from our hormone levels and our metabolism to the mobilization of enzymes that repair our body. Assistant Professor Peter Sudman of UC Berkeley said, how do your genetics, what you got from your sperm donor and your egg donor and your evolutionary history influence who you are? Your phenotype, such as your height, your weight, whether or not you have heart disease. There's been a huge amount of work done in human genetics to understand how genes are turned on and off by human genetic variation. Our project came about by asking, how is that influenced by an individual's age? And the result we found was that your genetics actually matter less the older you get. So, while our individual genetic makeup can help predict gene expression when we're younger, it is less useful in predicting which genes are ramped up or down as we get older. In this study, Identical twins, for example, have the same set of genes, but as they age, their gene expression profiles diverge, meaning that twins can age far differently. The findings have implications for efforts to correlate diseases of aging with genetic variations in humans. Dr. Sudeman said such studies should perhaps focus less on genetic variants that impact gene expression when pursuing drug targets. Professor Sudman went on to say, almost all human common diseases are diseases of aging, Alzheimer's, cancers, heart disease, and diabetes. All of these diseases increase their prevalence with age. Massive amounts of public resources have gone into identifying genetic variants that predispose you to these diseases. What our study is showing is that, well, actually, as you get older, genes kind of matter less for your gene expression. And so perhaps we should be mindful of that when we're trying to identify the causes of these diseases of aging. The findings of this study are in line with Medawar's hypothesis in that genes are turned on when we are young and are more constrained by evolution because they are critical to making sure we survive to reproduce, while genes expressed after we reach reproductive age are under less evolutionary pressure. And as a result, one would expect a lot more variation in how genes are expressed later in life. 
Professor Sudbent went on to explain, we are all aging in different ways. While young individuals are closer together in terms of gene expression patterns, older individuals are further apart. It's like an uncontrolled drift through time as gene expression patterns become more and more erratic. This study is the first to look at both aging and gene expression across such a wide variety of tissues and individuals. Professor Sudman said he and his colleagues built a statistical model to assess the relative roles of genetics and aging in 27 different human tissues from nearly 1,000 individuals. They found that the impact of aging varied widely, more than 20-fold among the 27 different tissue types. Professor Sudman went on to explain that across all tissues in your body, genetics matters about the same amount. It doesn't seem like it plays more of a role in one tissue or another tissue, but aging is vastly different between different tissues. In your blood, colon, arteries, esophagus, fat tissue, age plays a much stronger role than your genetics in driving your gene expression patterns. Professor Studman and his colleagues also found that Medawir's hypothesis, although accurate, did not hold true for all tissues. Surprisingly, in five of the 27 tissue types, evolutionary important genes were expressed at higher levels in older individuals. Professor Studman stated, from an evolutionary perspective, it is counterintuitive that these genes should be turned on until you take a closer look at these tissues. These five tissues happen to be the ones that constantly turn over throughout our lifespan and can also produce the most cancers. Every time these tissues replace themselves, they risk creating a genetic mutation that can lead to disease. Professor Sudman noted that the study indirectly indicates the effect on aging of one's environment, which is the impact of everything other than age, and genetics, so things like the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat, but also our levels of physical activity. As we age, the environment impacts up to one third of gene expression changes. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I've made some notes here. There is evidence and a common train of thought that says, if your parents and your grandparents lived well into their 90s, there's a fair chance that you will be able to do that too. That said, this study doesn't seem to back that up fully. Uh, and an interview I had recently or a year or so ago with Tom Stubbs, the CEO of Chronomics, an epigenetic age testing company, also said the same thing, that although your genes may not predispose you to diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, the environment, the way that you live your life by not sleeping correctly, having poor nutrition, not exercising, smoking and drinking too much alcohol, will have a five-fold effect on your longevity and your health span. So even if you are genetically predispositioned to live, a, to live a long and healthy lifestyle, what you do to your body in the years leading up to that old age could well have a profound effect and you would not live into your 90s as did your parents and grandparents. 